Okay, so some uh, viewers out there wanted to see exactly what is going on when the dealership is doing a clutch system test or a clutch adaptive learn procedure on their DPS6 transmission found in the Ford Fiesta and the Ford Focus. So first thing right here is the clutch system test. That's a basic test. And then this one is the, the more in-depth adaptive learning procedure after repairs um, or any kind of replacement of anything. Um, I do them after any kind of updates to the calibration, uh, stuff like that. So we'll go into this one first. And basically it says it's going to check all the e-motors, the interference, the, the reference points, you know, the touch points. Uh, do you want to proceed? Yes, we do. So we're going to turn the key off. Simple enough. And this is a nice thing about the IDS software. It walks you through everything. Uh, it's made so you really can't screw it up. We'll turn the key on. Okay. It's in park. Sure is. At this point, it's going to do some automated functions. Okay. Okay, so right there you saw, hey, everything passed. It did its little test. Now, the real test comes when you actually do the adaptive learning on here. So go ahead and turn the key off. It wants the TC and the power down fully before we reinitialize it. So it'll wait up to 30 seconds to do that. And that's a characteristic that's only on these vehicles. Not many of the Ford vehicles have a dedicated TCM, um, but this one they want it to fully power down. Okay, at this point, let's go over to the adaptive learn procedure, and we'll go through that also. Now, this will basically check everything from the uh, shifter down to the shift drums, the touch points, uh, the e-motors, e everything, okay? So this is the real test you want to do. Now, you want to go through each one of these in order if you do any kind of calibrations uh, or replacements, okay? So we're going to go ahead, we can uh, perform it. Yes, sir. In park. Okay. So right now it's in park. So we can go ahead and say, yes, that is my park position. You put it into reverse, make sure you're centered in there. Hit it. It learns it. Neutral. Same thing. It's pretty simple. You just want to make sure you're fully in the gear, locked in, centered, and then you can go to each one of these. And this will make sure that the, the shifter and the trans range sensor are okay. And then afterwards, you can go through and watch what it's watching live. So you want to jump around a little bit and really test it. Okay, so we're good to go there. Okay, next we're going to check the shift drum on here. And again, we're just going to go through and do what it says. It's, like I said, it walks you through everything on here. Press and hold the brake. And it's going to do some functions under the hood. It's actually shifting the trans right now with the engine off. So it says, hey, everything's okay. According to our sensors, it moved. Again, let's go ahead and power it off. And let it take in this new data and reboot from there. Okay. And now we're going to go to the actual clutch. And this is a running test right here um, that we're going to do. Want to continue. Key on. Again, make sure heavy foot on the brake. It's going to do some initial checks real quick. See, now... All these little tests it's doing are much faster than when this test first came out to be able to adaptively learn the clutch um, right inside of the service bay before you had to actually travel um, to do this. So it's going through them nice and fast. So we got our foot on the brake and press the accelerator to the floor and they'll hit tick. And here it goes, my foot is to the floor, and it's going to do clutch adjustments with it maxed out like this. We are in um, park. Make sure nothing's on, I always say that. 
So right now it's waiting for the engine speed to come down and stabilize before it does any further adaptive learning. Now at this point, it should be touch, it, uh, testing those, those touch points uh, that it learned. Okay. So again, we're in park, idling, and we're going to let it do its thing. At this point, there's some noise under the hood. Uh, you guys probably can't hear it. And it's just all part of the learn procedure. Now we're on to B. And that should be the last one on here uh, that has to learn. Okay, so right there, you, you have the, the clutch is learned. Uh, as far as the A and B clutch on there, the two different things, a dual clutch system. Okay, we have our travel points or touch points uh, that we that the system has learned. This way, when it does its shifts, it can go through and do them that much more accurately uh, because it knows the clutch and the the, the actual uh, build quality of the clutch. I guess you could say, because uh, each one's different. And then, of course, when the clutch is older, it learns um, you know the wear. Okay, so at this point. Hey, in, in the stall type stuff is done. Um, you can really go for a road test or not go for a road test. I still do, of course, to make sure things a okay for the customer. And then you just want to go ahead and turn it off. And again, it's going to take that new information and kind of, you know, let it all soak in. And uh, that's all there is to learn the clutches and testing the clutches in the stall with the Ford system.